If you have your Bibles with you out there this morning, my friends, please turn with me to the word of the Lord. Found in the book of John, chapter 9, and beginning at verse number 1. That's John, chapter 9, and beginning at verse number 1. We thank you all out there that are doing this ministry over the internet. Thank God for all of our internet listeners out there today. We appreciate you here today in Jesus' mighty name. I'd like to send this program out to my brother in New York, Stephen McRae. We are praying for you that God will continue to bless you and raise you up in these last and in these evil days. John chapter 9 and beginning at verse number 1. And as Jesus passed by, he saw a man which was blind from his birth. And his disciples asked him, saying, Master, who did sin, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Jesus answered, Neither had this man sinned nor his parents, but that the works of God should be made manifest in him. I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day. The night cometh when no man can work. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. I'd like to talk to you today for a few minutes here, my friends. Yes, God can. Yes, God can. Here in the word of God, we see God moving by his power and by his authority. And the Bible says that this man was born physically blind, which means, my friend, he had uh, no use of his sight and he was unable to see as a child. And his family had to take care of him. And after a while, he grew up and became a man. And then his family was unable to take care of him, so he became a beggar by the side of the road. Uh-huh. Now, that's not a life, my friend, that is pleasing in the sight of Almighty God. But when Jesus came on the scene, he saw the man that was born blind. And then he stooped down and spit on the ground and made clay out of the subtle. And he anointed the eyes of the blind man. And he told him, uh-huh, to go wash in the pool of Shalom. And the man went and done exactly what Jesus had told him to do. See, we find here today, my friends, God will tell you to do something. He will give you a clear understanding as to what to do. Uh-huh, but you will not do exactly what God told you to do. See, my friend, we all fight the word of God. Uh-huh, because God tells us to do something and then we do the opposite. Have you ever told your child to do something and your child done the opposite, done exactly what he wanted to do? Uh-huh. But my friend here in the word of God, Jesus told the blind man to go and wash and you will receive your sight. Uh-huh. So the Bible said that the Pharisees and the Sadducees and the scribes and all of them saw the blind man and then they begin to ask questions as to who made this man to see? Or how was he able to get his sight back into his life? The man said, I don't know who the man was. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether he was a prophet or what. All I know is that I was blind, but now I see. I was blind and I was begging by the side of the road. My friend, I don't know about you, glory be to God, I've never been in that position where I had to beg by the side of the road. But I've seen people out there begging by the side of the road, my friends, and they had their sight. It didn't look like a pretty sight to me. Uh-huh. 
My friend God does not want you out of his will. When God gives you a command and he gives you an order, you've got to follow it to the day that you die. And the Bible said that this man received his sight and he was rejoicing and giving God the praise and giving God the glory. And then the Sadducees and the scribes had to figure this thing out on a intellectual. Uh-huh, I'll pause right there. They had to figure it out. They wanted to figure it out in their mind. You can't figure God out in your mind. Your mind cannot figure out the things of God. Your mind cannot figure out what God is going to do. God wants to heal you. God wants to bless you. God wants to bring you out. Look here at the word of God, my friend. The Bible says, I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day. The night coming when no man can work. Huh. Hallelujah. When he had thus spoken as he spat on the ground and made clay of the shuttle, and he anointed the eyes of the blind man with the clay. He used the power of God, and the man had to use his faith. See, your faith works with God. Hallelujah. My friend, I'm here to tell you that yes, God can. You may be up against a situation where you feel as though that you are unable to come out. And you feel as though that there's no help in sight. And you feel as though that God does not see me in the condition that I am. That I am in. But I'm telling you, my friend, that God sees you right where you are. Mm -hmm. He sees you locked behind that prison wall. He knows exactly where you are. But my friend, you got to call out to God. Hallelujah. And when you call out to God, God will be able to extend his hand unto you. Hallelujah. See, there are those, my friend, that have just been kicked to the side of the road. They've been kicked to the curb. Have you ever been kicked to the curb? My friend, I have. I've been kicked to the curb. I've been kicked to the side of the road. Mm -hmm. But my friend, I'm here to tell you that God came along and picked me up, dusted me off. Hallelujah. And I'm here to tell you that I'm standing on the word of God. Glory be to God. Because God is able to deliver. He's able, glory be to God, to make a way where there seems to be no way. See, the Sadducees and the Sadducees and the scribes, they had to have a clear manifestation as to what God was doing, hallelujah, in this, in that time. They had to understand it in their mind. They could not just believe it. They had to understand it. They had to scientifically understand what God was doing. Huh? But my friend, you can't scientifically huh, understand huh, what God is doing. Huh? The Bible says, are you a believer? Huh? It seems as though, my friend, huh, that, that, that there are not huh, many believers out there today huh, about the power of God. Huh? Mm -hmm, huh? See, when you go to the altar of huh, sacrifice huh, and you call on the name of the Lord, huh, you've got to go in faith huh, and believe in God, huh, that God's going to deliver you. Huh? you got to go in faith faith, believe in God, that God's going to heal you. Hallelujah. Here this man may never have had set foot in a church. He may not have never ever set foot in a worship service. He may not have never heard given unto God, saints and friends. He may not have never heard that before. Hallelujah. But somewhere along the line, he had faith in God, to believe God, that God said, he said, I don't know you, I don't even know who you who you are, Mister? I've never, I don't even, I've never heard of you before. Hallelujah! Mm -hmm. See, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a no name. Glory be to God. I don't need a title. I don't need a title on my name. You can call me Mister So and So, but I'm here to tell you, my friend, that by the power of God. 
Hallelujah. That when I believe God in prayer, God said he would do exactly what he's going to do. And if God said he's going to heal your eyes, God will heal your eyes. If God said he's going to bless you, God will bless you. Hallelujah. I remember when I had a heart attack and the enemy was telling me in my mind, he said, I'm going to destroy you. I'm going to kill you. I begin to rebuke the devil and I begin to call on the name of the Lord. And God delivered me through that. Hallelujah. And the same God that delivered me is the same God that can deliver you. The Pharisees and the scribes, they had to go and call the man's, the man's mother and father because they could not believe. They could not receive it. They could not receive that this man was once blind. The people in the community said, well, he looked like him. Hallelujah. He sound like him. Mm -hmm. See, before he had never, ever seen his father or his mother. All he did was hear their voice. Mm -hmm. And he recognized their voice. Hallelujah. And they said, is this your son? Yes. They said, yes, this is my son. They were fearing the Sadducees and the scribes as to what they were going to do. And they told the Sadducees and the scribes, this man is of age. You asked him yourself. Hallelujah. The man said, I do not know if this man was a prophet or not. Hallelujah. But one thing I know Glory to God that I did not have in his sight. I was begging by the side of the road. Hallelujah. I had to beg by the side of the road. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And the Bible says that Jesus saw the condition of the man. Jesus know what condition your life is in today. Look here at the word of God. And as Jesus passed by, verse number one, and as Jesus passed by, he saw a man which was born blind from birth. That means the man had to be up some age. He had to be up near 30 years of age or so. Can you imagine being in a condition like that all of your life? Unable to see and have to beg by the side of the road. Glory be to God. Have you ever been kicked to the curb? Yes, and begging by the side of the road. I've never really had to beg by the side of the road, but I've been kicked to the curb before. Yes, I have. Hallelujah. By some Sadducees and some scribes. Glory be to God. But my friend, I'm here to tell you that I am a believer, and I believe in the power of Almighty God. If you don't believe, I believe. That's the reason why I'm saying today, glory be to God. Folks say don't go to the altar Don't go to the altar But I'm here to tell you my friend At the altar of sacrifice Hallelujah Is where God is going to bless you At the altar Is where God is going to deliver your soul Glory be to God Look here at the word of God my friend And the Bible says And said unto him Go wash in the pool of Siloam Which is by interpretation He sent them He sent them to go wash Go wash your eyes Hallelujah so that you can see Go wash your eyes so that you can see the power of God. Can you imagine this man seeing Jesus, the one that healed him? Can you imagine him? Glory to God. I feel the power of God. Can you imagine this man seeing Jesus that healed him? Glory be to God. What a joyous day that must have been for him. For him to be healed by the power of God. There were those out there today. You got cancer and you don't believe that God is able to heal you. But I believe. Glory be to God. I believe that one touched by the power of God that he's able to deliver you. There are those out there today that got AIDS and you don't believe that God is able to heal AIDS but I'm here to tell you it doesn't make a difference what condition your life may be in it doesn't make a difference what, what your body hallelujah may be under but I'm here to tell you that we serve a miracle God a God that can work miracles in your life all you got to do is be a believer and believe in the power of almighty God hallelujah way down on the inside. 
Glory to God. There's a believer on the inside. And when you come to God, the Bible says, when you come to God, you've got to believe that he is. Hallelujah. And that he's able to deliver you. Do you believe today that God can set you completely free? Do you believe today that God can heal you? See, I got a brother younger than I am that had a stroke but I believe that God is able to deliver him hallelujah my brother I'm telling you today that God can deliver you he can make you whole he can bring your body back hallelujah mm -hmm. I'm here to tell you today that God the God that I serve is able to deliver you and set you completely free you want to be delivered from AIDS call on the name of Jesus. You got to see what you got to do. You got to get away from the folk that are doubting. You got to get away from the folk that don't believe that God can. See those Sadducees and the scribes. They had to see the scientific approach of things. Did he really do it? How many steps did he take? I'm not talking about three points and a step. I'm talking about Jesus seeing the man that was born blind. And he said, I'm going to heal him today. And see, this was done on the Sabbath day. Hallelujah. On a day that they thought that it should not have been done. They said, well, this man must got a devil. Hallelujah. How can this man do do these great things. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. And then some of them believed and some of them began to doubt. They was on both sides of the road. They were straddling the fence, so to speak. Hallelujah. But my friend, I'm here to tell you, you got to, if you want something from God, hallelujah, if you want something from the power of God, you got to get around somebody that is a believer. I'm not talking about a Rolls Royce. I'm not talking about a Cadillac. I'm not talking about about a brand new house. I'm talking about your body being healed by the power of Almighty God. My friend God is able to deliver you. He's able to set you completely free. There are those out there today that have lost their mind. There was a man, hallelujah, in the book of Mark. He was driven by the devil. He was driven by the forces of the works of the enemy. The devil had him bound. His mind was gone. He was cutting himself. He was going up the road and down the road, cutting himself. He had leaders of demons running in his life. And God came along. Hallelujah. And rebuked the spirit and told the demons to get out. Hallelujah. And that man was made whole by the power of Almighty God. See, now there are those today, they are driven by the devil. They are driven by the forces of the works of the enemy. The devil got their mind. Their minds is bound by the works of the enemy. There's so many demons and forces huh, running in their life. Huh? Mm -hmm. huh? Pornography huh? all over the place. Huh? And their minds huh? is driven by the devil. Huh? Young girls 15 years old huh? talking about being with a man. Huh? My friend, huh? it's prayer time huh? in the house of Almighty God. Huh? Hallelujah. Huh? Glory be to God. Huh? I'm here to tell you that God, huh? he comes out of shy, huh? the God that I serve you don't want to hear this, but the God that I serve is a keeper. God will keep you if you really want to be kept by the hand of God. Hallelujah. There need not be 15-year-old girls out looking for a man. No. Glory be to God. There need not be a 15-year-old boy out looking for a woman. No. That's not the will of God. My friend, the Bible is the truth, and I stand on the word of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm here to run the devil off. Yes, I am. Because the devil is praying. He's running your life. Hallelujah. There are forces and demon forces that are coming up against you. Coming up against your mind. Coming up against your body. Hallelujah. Coming up against your life. You start, you try grabbing one of them kids' cell phone. You try, you, you know my shot You try grabbing one of them kids' cell phones and seeing what they're doing. You try it if you like it. And you might get a mouthful. You may be mama or you may be daddy. Hallelujah. But I'm here to tell you. Try it. Call me.
me and tell me. Mm -hmm. See how it goes over. Hallelujah. Because they're being driven by the works of the devil. They're being driven by the forces of the works of the enemy. Hallelujah. I had a dream and a vision a long time ago. I preached it in the church and told the young girls, don't you get in that car. Don't get in that car with that man. Don't get in that car with all them boys. Don't you get in that car. Hallelujah. And then come to find out that there were some young girls that got into a car with a man and their life was bound for 10 long years. Hallelujah. Stay out of that car. In the name of Jesus. My friend, I'm here to tell you that this man was born blind. But the disciples said, Jesus, who sinned, this man or this his mother or his parents? Jesus said, neither. This was done so that the power of God may be revealed in his life. Hallelujah. I'm not saying, my friend, that you got to go through something in order for the power of God to be revealed in your life. No, if you make up in your mind today that you're going to come to the Lord. Hallelujah. You make up in your mind today that I'm coming to Jesus. I'm shaking off my friends. I'm not listening to Sally. I'm not listening to Betty. I'm coming to Jesus just as I am. Hallelujah. See, the enemy is a driving force. The devil is a driving force. And he drives that spirit inside of you to become rebellious against the word of God. Hallelujah. But my friend, I'm here to tell you that truth would outweigh a lie anytime. See, we don't want to hear the truth. We don't want to hear the truth. We want to hear it sugarcoated. Mm -hmm. But my friend, the devil, ain't going to sugarcoat nothing to you. Hallelujah. That's the reason why you got to make up in your mind today that I'm coming to Jesus regardless of what my friends say. I'm coming to the Lord Hallelujah. Regardless of what people say. See, people want to put you down. They want to put you on the back burner. Glory be to God. I would rather be seen. I would rather be heard and not seen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. But my friend, this man had received his sight. What a joyous occasion that must have been for him. But your sight is right near you. Whatever you're standing in the need of. Whatever you need from God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, there are those out there huh, that need a touch from the hand of the master. Huh? Yes, you do. Huh? You need a touch from the power of God. Huh? Hallelujah. Huh? Because the enemy is a driving force. Huh? And he's driving demons and fit and sports and spirits huh, that are coming up in your life. Huh? Mm -hmm. huh? He got demons of cursing huh, in you. Huh? Hallelujah. Huh? And that devil, huh, it needs to come out huh, by the power of God. Huh? You need not be cursing. Huh? You need not curse your children. Every word come out of your mouth is a profanity. You can't even talk straight for cussing. Mm -hmm. I'm here to tell you that Jesus will, will break that spirit in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. See, young, when I was young, Mama, cut your, cut, cut your cursing. They wash your mouth out with ivory soap. Mm -hmm. And that stuff was nasty. Hallelujah. You said I tried it before. No, I didn't try it. But I seen somebody. It was nasty. Hallelujah. It was strong. Do you really want to your mouth washed out with soap? Mm -hmm. I'm here to tell you that the young people today are being driven by the devil. They're being driven by the forces of the works of the enemy. That's the reason technology is destroying some of their lives because they're so smart. They're so intelligent. But they won't read the Word of God. They won't get into the Word of God. They Don't pray for me. My friend, if we don't pray for you, your life will be destroyed by the hand of the enemy. This man that was born blind got a second chance. Hallelujah in life. And God touched him and healed him and set him completely free. I'm here to tell you that God can. Yes, he can. God can deliver. God can set you free. God can bring you out of whatever you may be in. But you got to make up in your mind that I'm going to be a believer. I'm going to believe in the power of God. I'm going to believe in the authority of God. I'm going to believe that God can do everything for me. Hallelujah. I believe that God can. 
I believe that God can make a way where there seemed to be no way. I believe that God will. Glory be to God. He will bless you if you really want to be blessed. Do you really want to stand on the word of God? Look at the word of God one more time, my friend. And the Bible says, and Jesus passed by. He saw a man which was blind from his birth. Hallelujah. And his disciples asked him, Master, who did send this man or his parents that he was born blind? Jesus said, Jesus answered, neither had this man sinned nor his parents, but that the works of God should be made manifest in him. Hallelujah. I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day. The night cometh when no man can work. These are trying times, and the enemy is destroying lives. Hallelujah. But my friend, by the power of God, you can be set free in Jesus' mighty name. You may be going through a hard time now. You may be struggling with something right now. But I'm telling you today that God can deliver you and set you completely free. Yes, God is a keeper. If you really want to be kept by God, you can be kept by the hand of the Lord. Hallelujah. He can deliver you from AIDS. He can deliver you from cancer. He can deliver you from tuberculosis. He can deliver you from sugar. Whatever your problem may be, I'm here to tell you that God can deliver you. And he can set you completely free. But you got to make up in your mind. You're going to turn the doubting people off. You're going to turn off all doubters. Those that are doubting and do not believe. You're going to turn them off and turn up the word of God. Hallelujah. Come to Jesus while the blood is running warm in your veins. Come on to Jesus, my friend. God can. God bless you. Amen.